IronCAD 2019 has improved sheet metal corner reliefs by adding a specific feature. In previous versions, you can drag and drop circles onto vertex points near your corners to apply corner reliefs. However, these didn't work very well for three corner conditions and they were not associative if the geometry changed after the fact. So we've added a corner relief command that's found on your sheet metal ribbon bar. You simply select on your sheet metal, select corner relief to enable it. Once enabled, you'll see icons displayed on all your corners. Circles represent two corner conditions. The triangle represents three corner condition. Uh, they apply differently in the, both cases. On three corner conditions, you can only apply a circular corner condition at this time. The other ones, you can apply a circular, rectangular, or oval round. Also, when you select to apply your values, notice I'll select these top two, it will appear in the list and all the values that you type here will apply to everything in the list. So in our case, let's start off with a 0.1 inch uh, corner relief onto these two corners and hit OK. And we can see now that these get added automatically to both corner conditions of our sheet metal. If we make changes to our sheet metal, for example, I'll go ahead and change the height of this, you'll notice the corner condition will automatically update along with the miter in this case. So let's continue to add some more corner conditions. So let's go ahead and add another corner relief. In this case, we'll go ahead and start with these top two front conditions. And we'll go ahead and add that as a rectangular. In the rectangular, you have different values. You can have a dimension and your fillet. So you can adjust how, how much of the radius you have on your rectangular shape, sort of like a circular rectangle, if you will. And you can go ahead and hit OK to apply that. And you can see that shape appear. And I'll unfold in just a minute so you can see these conditions, but if you zoom in here, you can kind of see this is more of a rectangular type shape with rounded corner conditions. Last, let's go ahead and do the third corner conditions. We'll select it again, hit corner relief. In this case, we'll select these two. And notice if we try to select something other than circular, it'll tell us that only circular reliefs are available for three bend corners. So the identification tells you what you, what you have for this case and it only allows you to select certain ones. So let's go ahead and make sure we have circular enabled. Select our two conditions here and let's make it a little bit bigger so we have a little difference here and hit OK. So now we can see that all of our corner conditions are applied. Again, these are fully associative and also when you unfold, you'll see that you'll have the true shape applied. Let's go ahead and get a look at this from front on. You'll see that these are true circles here and this one down here will actually represent a more of a rectangular corner relief. So this again is a new feature that's been added for 2019 to enhance the capability to add these conditions and they are fully associative and we'll continue to expand on those going forward. Thank you.